The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has arraigned former Accountant General of the Federation, Hamed Idris, before Justice Adeyemi Ajayi of the Federal Capital Territory High Court, Abuja. Mr. Idris is arraigned alongside Olusha Gwakindele, Mohamed Usman, and Gezawa. We have more updates on our story on the arraignment of the former Accountant General of the Federation. Justice Adeyemi Ajayi has ordered that the defendants be remanded at the Kuje Correctional Facility, pending the hearing of their motion for bail application. Counsel to first defendant, Chris Uche, however, pleaded with the court that due to the porous security nature of the Kuje Correctional Facility, his client should be remanded in EFCC custody. Justice Ajayi, however, repeatedly ordered the senior advocate to sit down that no one can overturn her order before her. She subsequently adjourned till July the 27th for hearing of bail application. Let's now go to our correspondent, Kayla Megua, who's at the FCT High Court for more updates on the arraignment. Hello, Kayla, what more can you tell us? Hello, Buki. Yes, as you have said, it, it's official. The former Accountant General of the Federation is to be remanded in the Kujie Correctional Facility. Uh, you were right. There was a bit of drama in the courts when uh, the counsel uh, to, the, uh, to the Accountant General was trying to say, you know, because of the porous nature of the Kujie facility, she actually was very stern. She didn't let uh, Mr. Chris Uche actually even finish his words. You know, she was very stern and said, look, sit down. She was said repeatedly, sit down. You cannot override my order. In any case, we're still here at the FCT High Court in Abuja waiting uh, for the officials of the Kujie Correctional Facility or whoever it is that's going to be here soon to come and take uh, the former Accountant General of the Federation into the Kujie Correctional Facility. It's been a very interesting story. Uh, remember that this particular Accountant General of the Federation was nominated, was appointed by uh, President Muhammadu Buhari in 2015, reappointed again uh, to do another four-year term in 2019 amid a lot of cries from Labour saying that he was over 60 and needed to be in retirement. So that uh, brings uh, several dimensions to this particular matter. There's also a situation where you know, this particular Accountant General of the Federation had been called for questioning by the EFCC several times, and he had actually refused to show up for those uh, particular interrogations, which is the reason why he was then arrested in Kano, as we heard, sometime in May, uh, and then suspended two days after uh, from his post. And this case is one that brings a lot of questions to the minds of Nigerians, but we are watching to see how it all unfolds. July the 27th is the date that the uh, motion on the bail will be heard uh, at... Uh, at the court, according to uh, Justice Ademi Ajayi today. But, you know, we're still here at the FCC High Court in Abuja uh, trying to see how it works out. We're trying to see how he's going to be taken away from this place. We'll have to have those particular shots. But it is official. He's going to be remanded in the Kujie Correctional Facility according to the directive of this particular judge. Interesting, Kayla. And uh, the report says Mr. Idris is being arraigned alongside... Uh, other alleged accomplices now, Ulushia Gwakindele, Mohamed Usman, and Gezawa, uh, were they in court as well? And will they also be remanded at the Kujie Correctional Center? Yes, they were. Yes, they were, Buki. They were all in court. And yes, they will all be remanded together at the Kujie Correctional Facility. That is the order of this particular judge. Remember, it's a 14 count charge bordering on stealing and. Um, uh, there's another charge uh, that is up against them, stealing and um, something about trust. Uh, had to do with the fact that as attorney general, you know, he was put in, in trust of a lot of things that had to do with the government. And they're accusing him of allegedly siphoning those funds. They're saying he used bogus contracts and uh, bogus people, family members and whatnot, you know, to be able to rake off all of that money. Actually, they're counting it 109 billion naira in his time as attorney general, as accountant general, sorry, of the federation. So those are some of the charges up against them 14 counts uh, and they will all be remanded in Kujie Correctional Facility pending uh, the hearing on the motion for the bill which has been set for July the 27th. A correspondent Kayla Megua bringing us up to speed with the commencement of a trial as it would seem of the former accountant general of the federation alongside others Mr. Hamid Idris. We'll get back to Kayla when there's more to tell.